Hi, everyone. I'm checking. I'm checking the connection. Okay. Okay, great. I'm here, I guess. So last time, uh, my focus was totally wrong. So maybe you couldn't see me very clearly. So today, I think you can see me better. So this is the third uh, live streaming. I'm challenging. This is a third time. So uh, let's start. Uh, anytime you want, you can comment here. I'm checking your comments so I can ask, uh, I, I can answer your question also. So anytime you can ask me, you can comment here. Okay. So uh, my name is Terumi. Kai Terumi desu. I'm Japanese. I grew up in Japan for 20 years and now I'm living in the island in the Asian Sea which is Greece. So why? Why well, I'm here? Because Greece was the first place I visited by own, and it was super impact. And it changed my life so much. And then, you know, uh, it was a 22. When I was a 22, I came here in Greece and alone. It's just a challenge. I worked super hard and then uh, I saved the money. I wanted to go somewhere because I didn't go uh, abroad in that time, never been. So that's why I wanted to go somewhere, very different place. And then I came here. And then I realized, oh my God, speaking language, which is not Japanese language, like a Greek or English or German or Italian, anything. It's great things because you can really communicate with the people. And this time I couldn't speak English. Until the age of 28, I couldn't speak any other language. It's just totally normal native Japanese. We grow up in the native, I mean, in the really local, local place, very village side. And then this time when I came here, when I was 22, I realized, okay, the language is very important. I can learn so many things. I can communicate with many people. So let's learn English. I learned English in the junior high school, high school, but doesn't mean, you know, can speak very fluently. And educational way or actually you can really communicate with native, you know, people is very different. So I didn't have this skill, actual skill. So one more time, start exercising, speaking English. After that, uh, struggling, struggling. I cannot speak anything. I couldn't speak anything until the age of 28. And then, oh, oh my God, I will become age 30. That's really not good. Over 30, still, I cannot speak any English, which means maybe I cannot live abroad, with, which is I was dreaming. So then, okay, let's stop doing the grammar or vocabulary, which is, for me, I felt never ending story. And then, okay, anytime when I met a person, people ask me, oh, what are you doing? Nani shiteru no? Uh, why you're here? Nande koko ni kitano? Uh, you know, like this normal conversation. I was watching the Mission Impossible because I really like Mission Impossible 007 or whatever very famous English movie. The real conversation, it does, it's not like a Mission Impossible. <laughs> so that's why watching the movie didn't help me at all because it's, I'm not Tom Cruise. I'm not. Had, I, I don't, I'm not living the Mission Impossible movie. So that's why maybe you'd like to be a Japanese speaker. That's why I think you're watching here. The movie or watching anime actually doesn't help you because it's not your life. You have to tell where you're from, what you're doing, why you're studying this, why you like Japan. This is the Japanese people will ask you. So that's why uh, real communication skill 
is the things that I'm teaching. So that's why if you just like Japanese culture, but you're not dreaming to become a Japanese speaker, maybe what I'm going to tell you doesn't help you at all. If you just want to you know, enjoy the movie, is maybe you just need to watch many, many, many times, same episode, and then like copy the phrases. So then maybe you can really enjoy the anime or movie that you like. But you really need to communicate with me only Japanese, or if you really like to communicate with other Japanese people only in Japanese, is you need to prepare the sentence that you really need to use it. In the real conversation. So, in order to succeed at Japanese speaking, today I'd like to introduce five traits in you. If you have it, you can really succeed. But if you don't have it, either you can change your thinking way, because definitely you need these five traits, which is it's really you need. In your personality or your experience, in order to succeed at Japanese speaking. Okay, so let's、uh, talk about.、Uh, so I will share the screen. So I wrote it what you need in order to succeed at Japanese speaking. But this is as much as possible and as fast as possible. But if you really study normally as an educational way, it takes a lot of years, a lot of years. So that's why this method that I'm talking is only the person who really w a n t to be able to speak soon, really soon. So you don't have time because you need to apply for the job, because you want to live in Japan next year, two years later, something that you cannot wait. 10 years, 20 years. So, only for this person will h e l p f u l with my method. Okay, so I will share the screen. So, okay. So, I, I wrote here. So, as I said, Uh, if you'd like to be a speaker as soon as possible, because I think you are thinking, hmm, I know only just hiragana, or yes, I, I'm learning Japanese many years, many years, maybe two, three years, but still I cannot speak at all. Oh, I'm not good at speaking. No, no, you just need a right way. You just really need a right way. So you're not doing something actually very wrong way, but it's just not for the speaking exercises. Maybe you are doing the reading exercises or listening exercises or writing exercises. Maybe you're not speaking. My English speaking also not perfect, but I'm trying to speak. This right now, I'm speaking English. This is my, you know, from my exercise. I'm not reading a book so I can speak today. No, I'm trying to speak. So, this exercise you just need if you really want to speak Japanese. Perfect pronunciation. Nicely, politely, humbly. Okay, so try to check. So, number one, you can follow the method, which means right away. To become a Japanese speaker. Here, the method. We are doing a very, very specific way. We are very specific way to do the exercises in order to skyrocket your speaking skill. Because, as I said, if you study normally, like as an educational way, it will take 20 years. Because we became A good Japanese speaker. We native became a good speaker, and I can read newspaper, I can speak, I can listen, everything. It took 10, 20 years, which means you are not native, 
Now, which means simply it, it will take over 20 years, right? Because we native will learn 20 years, 2,500 kanji. Okay, so if you just follow the normal educational style, it will take easily 20 years. So that's why we need something efficient where you don't want to wait. You really want to go Japan or you really want to work in the Japanese company next year. Soon. Okay. So we have the, this method. So if you can follow this method, I'm sure you can really speak. So the method is, first of all, here, introduction. Intro is written. Introduction is what? Introduction is your self-introduction. Because people will ask you, for example, you want to work in a Japanese company. The company owner simply want to know you. Who are you? Why, we, why you choose our company? What did you learn before? Uh, why you want to come to Japan? Why you want to live in Japan? What is the differences like between your culture and our culture. Are you okay to live in Japan because it's very different culture from your country? Are you okay? You know, like this question is coming to you. So that's why this self-introduction is the most important. It's not only company interview. You just visit in Japan or you just met the Japanese person and then, oh, this per Japanese person realize you that you can speak Japanese. Who? Oh, why you can speak Japanese? Why? どうしてどうしてですか Why are you learning Japanese? Why you can speak Japanese? This is a simple question. So, self-introduction is the most frequently used sentences and the phrases in the normal Japanese conversation. So that's why, please, please prepare the self-introduction. Mm. So that's why my, with my lesson usually, we really focus on the self-introduction. I would really love to make your personal self-introduction so you can really confidently use with Japanese people. Mm. So this self-introduction, introduction please prepare okay and then next is yes i got sentences yes terumi made for me yay then you met the japanese person uh, uh what was it uh, uh what was it what was it oh no you need to memorize it otherwise one of the most important time that maybe that can change your life, you can work in this company, you can maybe can find a girlfriend, Japanese girlfriend or whatever, something most important time, you will lose a chance. One chance, second chance, third chance. So whenever you got the self-introduction, you can introduce yourself. You can introduce your culture. You can introduce your uh, country. You can actually say the reason why you're studying Japanese. So this self-introduction you got, very, very useful. Please memorize. So that's why memorization. And then people usually think, memorize? Maybe people will not ask me this question. So why I should prepare the sentences that maybe not come? Are you sure? But who will not ask you where are you from? In Japan, suddenly, like, let's talk about business, seiji, politics. This is not, this is the things you don't need to prepare so much because it's, you met a, for, you met a stranger. You will not start speaking suddenly politics or medicine or I see tips. I want to talk about the programming. Suddenly, you will not talk about specific things with a stranger. So that's why most of things, what you're doing, where you're from, why are you learning Japanese, such as so frequently used sentences, let's memorize. So at least you don't need to stuck. Oh, 
Where are you from? Ah, such a so basic things I cannot speak. Such a basic things if you cannot introduce yourself, then you are exactly saying that I cannot speak anything. Right? So you don't want to show to every one of Japanese people I cannot speak anything. Even I cannot say where I am from. Even I cannot introduce my country. So people will expect you, ah, this person cannot speak anything, right? You cannot introduce yourself means people will not expect you. You can speak about computer programming or medicine or politics or business. Of course, no one will expect you. So that's why self-introduction is the first thing. And then let's memorize. Okay. And then the third thing is pronunciation. In my lesson, we do a lot of pronunciation exercises because you have the perfect self-introduction. Next, you memorize it, but you didn't pronounce it correctly. And then, ah, what did you say? What did you say? All the time. And then start losing your confidence. Oh my God, I tried to say it, but people doesn't understand me. Why? Why? Because maybe pronunciation was wrong. Mm. For example, let's say I will say I am playing judo. So judo wo shiteimasu is the correct way. Judo wo shiteimasu. But you said judo shiteimasu. Something you change the tone. Ju, ju is number 10 also. You have to say judo all together. Judo. Judo wo shiteimasu. I'm playing judo. Judo shiteimasu. But if you say judo, ju is number 10 also. So that's why how to pronounce correctly is very important when you like to communicate with a native. Because native people, we have 50,000 of vocabulary. You wanted to say number 10 and then the other thing is that maybe you made a mistake, something, and what do you want to say? So pronunciation is very correct. Uh, very important, especially speak to the native. Yes, so let's check your pronunciation and then I can see, oh, you can speak perfectly. I can understand you perfectly. Let's go. You can meet a lot of Japanese people. Okay. And then here, uh, Greek people, I'm, I can see. Karispera. Konbanwa. Good evening. Hi. And then keep on the job. Good job. Greeting from Thessaloniki. Thank you so much. I have been Thessaloniki once. Okay, so if you have any question or request, you can uh, write here. I cannot read a long Greek sentence, for example. If you can write me in English, I can maybe immediately can understand. But short sentences, no problem. I can understand Greek, uh, English. Japanese, a really beginning of German. <laughs> okay, so this is, I'm actually following this method. So that's why I know I can, I know how to introduce myself. So this, because that's so important, you know? You don't want to talk to me if you don't know me at all, anything. And then let's talk about business. No, no. We're going to start from self-introduction to get to know each other and then we will start having the real conversation. So next is feedback. Feedback is what? Is actual reaction, reaction. You will communicate with Japanese people, right? You'd like to communicate nicely with Japanese people. Then Japanese people said, I'm playing judo, judo shiteimasu. And then you said, so this, so this, hmm? so this, so this means, yes, it is. All right. The reaction is something wrong. Maybe she's not understanding what I said. Mm. Reaction is very important. I see. Great. You're playing judo. 
。あ、そうですか。すごいですね。お、correct reaction。I feel I can continue the conversation with you. So, of course, the reaction, which is the feedback, is also important. People said something, and then you answer a totally different direction. And then,、mm, this person, I think, didn't understand what I said. Okay, no meaning to continue the conversation, right? So, because I said I'm playing judo. Yes, it is! You answered.、Mm? Something is wrong. You have to say, I see, so this ka. Not so this. So this. Yes, it is. So this. So this ka. I see. すごいですね。Wonderful. Great. 素晴らしいですね。Wonderful. Politely, nicely, humbly. So this is feedback also important. So that's why mainly in my lesson, We are focusing on the how to speak with a native Japanese as soon as possible. I'm saying it in two months. Yeah, because in two months, you will memorize your self introduction and you can learn what is the typical phrases and what is the typical feedback. And you can really follow this method and you will have the result.、Hmm. So, this is number one. You need, if you would like to communicate with native Japanese people as soon as possible. So, number two, so number two is you don't wait for 20 years. So, what does it mean? So, as I said,、uh, just a moment. Okay, okay. So, as I said, if you learn educational way, For speaking Japanese, grammar, 2,500 kanji, 50,000 of vocabulary, or JLPT, N1, is around 10,000 vocabulary out of 50,000 vocabulary that we have native. So it's a kind of never ending story. So either people wait two years. Three years, five years, getting tired, start forgetting.、Uh, yeah, in the past I had studied Japanese, but I don't remember anymore. Either you will say like this, or you actually start focusing on only speaking because it's, this is because you want to speak with a native. So, Let's leave it this end, never ending one. You can do as a hobby, step by step, after earning your speaking skill. You have plenty of time after earning the speaking skill, which is basic one self introduction. I can answer, I can ask what I, when you didn't understand this basic communication skill, and they, as a hobby, 2500 candy. 50,000 vocabulary,、uh, you can start, you know, improve your Japanese skill, everything, all of Japanese.、Mm. So that's why you don't wait. Some people, you know,、ah, I, I'm, my grammar is not yet, so let's start again and again and again. Personally, Uh, if you'd like to really succeed at speaking, if you wait too much, you're just getting tired and then losing your motivation and forgetting day by day, forgetting this vocabulary, forgetting these phrases.、Uh, still, I cannot speak something nicely. Where are you from? Why are you studying Japanese? Such a basic thing.、So、also, Start forgetting. So that's very, very shame. So that's why jump start. If you really want to live in Japan, you really want to have Japanese friends, you really want to work in the Japanese company, or you start earning Japanese communication skill and teach Japanese so you can work as a Japanese teacher in your country or anything else. 
I mean, you can moving forward, right? So don't wait 20 years. Okay. So, すごい uh, and 素晴らしい means something. Yeah. すごい is very casual way to say great. Great. You will speak like this. Great. You are great. すごい. すばらしい, wonderful. So it's more actually formal. So when you met the Japanese person, usually our culture, we speak politely. So if you say, oh, you are great, then, hmm? okay, casual way. Maybe people just don't mind. Some people mind. So that's why if you can speak politely, because we have actually this culture, so it's always better if you can speak nicely. Mm. So that's the differences. Okay. So the third, we finished two, one, and three. So three, you can practice on your own. So what does it mean? So because you can get the basic knowledge in order to speak Japanese nicely. You can ask when you didn't understand. You can introduce yourself. You memorize it so that's why you can speak fast. Not uh, in, uh, uh, eh, mm, mm. No, you can speak. Hi, Terumi. I'm from Japan and I'm living here. And why I'm living here because of something, something, something. You can really speak nicely. So this basic knowledge you learn because I'm actually teaching how to improve your Japanese speaking skill every single day. Because if you really want to be able to speak everything, of course, you need to expand your basic skill to uh, intermediate, to advance. So we just need a basic speaking skill to extend, extend, improve, improve your knowledge, right? Or skill. So if you have the basic skill to speak Japanese, you just need to meet a lot of Japanese people to practice on your own. So you don't need a teacher forever. You just need a base. And then you can start practicing in the real conversation with the real Japanese people. So you don't need to pay to the teacher all the time, forever. You don't need me, English, I just learned the basic. I just prepare the introduction and memorize it and just try to meet all the time. And I'm just trying to speak in here too. Greek also the same. Yesterday I went to the hair salon, actually new hair. And then he speak to me so much. He spoke so much things and then sometimes I don't understand. I just ask, oh, what does it mean? Teach me nefto. Oh, I got new vocabulary. Oh, thank you. You can learn, you can improve your Japanese skill in the real conversation. You can just say, oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much. You, you taught me a new words. It's a nice word. This is, you don't need to see the textbook. You can learn so many things to with the real Japanese people. Oh, how cool word it is. Teach me, you know. You just need a basic communication skill. And then after that, online, Instagram, Facebook, or go to Japan to meet more Japanese people. So you will have the real communication skill. You will have the real experience. And also at the same time, you can improve your Japanese speaking without the lessons. So it's very, very big differences. You have the basic skill to speak or you don't have nothing so you're actually unconfident so that's what mm, I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure if you are not sure how to improve it okay so that's why after learning the basic Japanese communication skill you can just practice on your own bye bye lesson anymore you don't need okay so Greek also I just went to the school only one year after that, I made the perfect self-introduction and I just try to speak and then try to see the real reaction. That's it. Okay, so you just need a base basement, like basic 
communication skill. And then improve or not is it's up to your real experience. Mm. So, hi everyone. What should you suggest a beginner to start learning Japanese with grammar or vocabulary? So, here, uh, my name is Terumi. I am teaching for speaking Japanese. So, it's up to you what do you want with the Japanese language skill. Some people say, I want to understand everything. Everything, everything is no exist. No exist everything. If I see the political TV in Japanese, hmm, what is that word? I don't sometimes understand, even I am native. So it's no exist everything. So it's up to you what you want. You just want to enjoy the anime or you just want to um, pass the exam because uh, I just want to write down this Japanese language skill in your portfolio or you really want to meet Japanese people. It's up to you. So then I can say you need a grammar, you need a vocabulary, you need what this one. So that's why it's up to you. What do you want with Japanese language skill? So me, this lesson is for the people who want to communicate with native Japanese people. Then this is the method that I said. If you join the middle of today's class, you can one more time watch from the beginning what is the best method to speak Japanese as soon as possible. This is a number one. Okay, so number four. So this is a definitely it's a one strong condition in order to be a Japanese speaker as soon as possible. This is a you don't afraid of making mistakes. How do you speak without any mistake? Can you do the presentation with me? YouTube live streaming, less, you, YouTube live streaming, even your native language without any mistake. You can present yourself perfectly or how difficult it is. I have done in Japan as a cooking teacher and here, I think I did more than 10,000 presentation like me, like here. It's so difficult to speak without any mistake. The skill that you need more is actually how to cover the mistake. I said something wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, or you just don't mind because I know it's there's no perfection. There's no perfection. More skill that we need is to how to actually be strong, be more confident to actually cover the mistake. So you can challenge anytime, any people, you know, then, oh, I need to speak perfectly. Oh, I need to speak perfectly. Uh, uh, mm, you know, because you think, I want to speak perfectly. I want to speak perfectly. I want to speak perfectly. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make any mistake. Then you pressure yourself so much, so much, so much, and you cannot speak anything. Oh, no, my grammar is not enough. Oh, my vocabulary knowledge is not enough. So I don't want to make mistakes. So let's study again. You know, just learning, you don't make mistake. You just watching the, some TV, you just uh, listening something, uh, you just reading a book, you just learn something new grammar. So if you try to avoid to make a mistake, and it's again, you don't have actual skill. So this is it's a big message. You should not afraid of mistake, making a mistake. So you can start speaking today. Hi, repeat after me. I'm Japanese, I'm living in Japan. Maybe you will make a mistake, something, some phrases when you introduce. It's okay. 
totally normal, totally normal. When the baby, because I have a four years old daughter, you cannot imagine so many mistakes, so many things, even just one single word, they cannot speak perfectly in the beginning. But because the baby doesn't know what is embarrassing, so that's why they can speak so much because they don't afraid to make a mistake. So repeat, 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 repeat many times, and then they can really speak nicely, just three years old or four years old. But you know, being adult, you really want to speak nicely. You don't want to show that it's I cannot speak Japanese nicely. So you just try to avoid. So that's why it's going very slow. So that's why if you all the time afraid of making mistake, uh, it's so difficult to be able to speak Japanese. So that's why if you are like this personality, don't worry. It's okay. I totally understand. I have seen many, 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 many people, many students afraid of making mistake. Totally normal. It's not only you. It's most of everyone is like that. But if you really want to be successful at Japanese speaking, please change your mind. Okay, it's okay. No one can speak Japanese perfectly anyway. Then how can I speak without making a mistake? It's okay. Let's make a mistake. And then this embarrassing time and this real experience is to be a you know, real success. You cannot say... I became successful without any make, making mistake. Is, is it true? Really? Is it a fake story? No. Everybody, you know, making mistake a lot, then they will achieve. Mm. If somebody achieves something without any mistake, I think it's very low achievement. Konnichiwa. Hello. Only. <laughs> Konnichiwa. You cannot make a mistake. So that's my maybe without any mistake, maybe small achievement. High achievement, if you really need, you really need to make a mistake a lot. So just don't care. Just don't afraid to make a mistake. Okay. So five. You have the reason to speak. Oh, this is so important. This is so important. You know. I can give you one example. One of my Japanese friends, she has two children, one husband. She has been to abroad only once in her life. But always she's saying to me, I really want to speak English like Terumi. Oh, I really want to speak English like Terumi. Ah, oh, it's so difficult, so difficult. And I always ask, hey, what is the reason that you really want to speak? Oh, it's like because it's cool. Cool? Yeah, it's sure. If, I, if it's cool, then if I can become a 10 languages speaker, it's really good. I mean, super cool. But usually, you need a reason to be a speaker. What does it mean? For example, you have a clear, clear reason. For example, I want to work in Japan. That's why I should speak Japanese. Or I really want to meet more Japanese people because I want to really talk about these things. Japanese technology, I really want to talk. Or a Japanese anime, I really want to talk. I really want to communicate with Japanese people to learn many things, to discuss about something. So I have a reason. Mm. Or I really want to live in Japan. That's why I should be able to speak. You have a clear reason to speak. So if you if your reason to to study Japanese is just a JLPT like a certificate, then you will get the certificate, right? So or maybe because I want to understand the anime. So that's why you watch a lot of anime and you start understanding. Yes, you achieved. But now you really want to speak Japanese is this reason should connect something with the native Japanese people, right? 
So you can really motivate yourself. Yes. My imagination, yes, speak Japanese people, speak Japanese with the Japanese people and working and living and maybe start a new business or like start having like a special hobby in Japan, maybe camera, maybe I'm working in a canon or whatever. You need a reason. Otherwise, there's no reason to be able to speak Japanese as soon as possible. You don't need to be hurry. You can be maybe 10 years later, 20 years later. So this, you don't have the high concentration if you don't have the reason. So that's why, okay, uh, I will be able to speak one day because I not hurry. So you have very low concentration. So that's why in order to follow the method, and with your high concentration, you can really achieve. You can really be able to speak Japanese in two months. This is everyone from the beginner level to business level, whatever. For example, I just know hiragana, but I don't think I can speak Japanese. Mm, no. As I said, you just need a perfect introduction so I can give you your perfect introduction and then you just need to memorize perfectly and then you will check the pronunciation and you can also give the perfect feedback and also when the people talk to you and oh she spoke so fast oh my god don't be panic oh what does it mean this one what did you say hmm? you know you can just ask oh this is a new word thank you thank you Nice communication skill you can really improve with the real Japanese people. So that's why, of course, if you have a business level, you can maybe speak maybe higher level of conversation. But if you are a beginner, you can speak about lower level. But the point is you can really speak Japanese with your confidence. Yes, when the people speak to me, I can answer this. Or when the people speak to me and I didn't understand, I can ask this. Yes, I can communicate. Yes, let's meet 100 of Japanese people today so you won't lose any time, any energy, any chance. You can start moving forward today, right? So today's my topic is that if you like it, uh, you can actually comment here and you can ask me anything. And if you really want to start, you know, because you are ready, this five trait you already have, or if you didn't have one or two, you can change your mind and you can start, you can jump start from today. So you don't lose any time chance. Now I'm 35, I cannot lose the time. I will become 40, uh, 45, uh, 50. Oh, oh, I'm just becoming, start becoming a grandmother. You know, time is so important. You can really start practicing from today so you will have more, more, more real experience and you can have more and more confidence. Okay, so let's answer something. So here, Minasan konbanwa, Nicholas. Hi, Minasan konbanwa. Good evening. So keep the job i hope you get to Athens someday oh i have been to Athens many times and then the next person tell me what kind what greek products like japanese people and could sell in japanese market yeah anything you can sell if it's really good product or if something that it doesn't have in japan yet so that's why this is you really need our market research Okay, and also, of course, you need to communicate with Japanese people. The best is you will cooperate, cooperate with Japanese people so you will have the team. You and the other guy is the perfect guy to promote so you can have the strongest team to start something new business. Yes, if you have the communication skill, these things is possible. This is a great thing. So that's why, you know, I'm a freelancer for 12 years. I love, you know, learning the business i love meeting a new people to you know have the new cooperator or maybe new friends so this time you just need the communication skill 
Mm. Not certificate. No one asked me, do you have a Greek certificate? Do you have an English certificate? No. When we met, you know, how you feel, how you introduce, oh, maybe we can start something new thing. So let's start. This is a communication skill. So that's why communication skill with the Japanese people and the market the results. Okay. And then the, your daughter is so lucky. She will learn to speak Japanese, English, and Greek and fluently from the young age. Yes, definitely lucky. But you know, one thing I can tell you, because you did a, you grow up with only one language doesn't mean you cannot speak other language nicely. Look, me, until age of 28, I couldn't speak any other language. Really just normal native Japanese. I just could say, uh, hello, the, like a pronunciation also, it's horrible. Like, hello, how are you? Something like that. And then, oh, how not cool I am. I really, I just didn't give up on myself. You know, I was just this one. I had this reason. I really wanted to live in uh, Europe, live abroad. And also maybe after Europe, maybe I will move different uh, region or different place, a different country, maybe totally different like a place because I actually apply for the moon project. Actually, I'm dreaming to go to the space also. You know, this time, you know, you just really need that reason. Yes, I will not give up give up on myself because the life is only once. 35 years old right now I am. This is only once. Next year I will become 36, 37, 40, 45. So is it okay to just stay here? Let's study now. But also I don't have much time because I'm mother, I'm working, but I want to learn new language. So just don't give up on myself. But also I need a very effective, efficient way to study. Then what I want, I want to meet many people. Yes, communication skill. So let's forget like a spelling or grammar or vocabulary that is very long story. So let's focus on the speaking. So self-introduction, memorization, pronunciation, feedback. So to from tomorrow, from next month, I can communicate with any people. For example, if I really want to start Spanish language, for example, I never study. I think I have only five days because my friend came and then he taught me some Spanish. For example, I really want to speak with the Spanish people in Spanish. And definitely I'm going to do introduction. Around 20 sentences. I'm from Japan. What I'm here doing, what, what I'm doing on YouTube, you know, uh, why I left Japan, something, you know, common self-introduction. I will ask to the Spanish people, I will really get the perfect self-introduction and I will learn memorization. And also I will learn very typical question that people will ask me, where are you from? Why am you are doing here, for example? Like this question, of course, if you learn, if I learn, yes, I'm ready to really speak any other language. It's the same. Same, usually people ask exactly the same. Why you are here? What are you doing? Uh, do you work here? Where are you from? Why you are learning Japanese? It's just, uh, sorry, I had so many experience of a stranger. It's the same. Everybody asks same things. So please prepare your self-introduction so you can really start speaking with a native Japanese people. Mm. So, uh, so my lesson today is done. So thank you so much. Today, I think it's uh, uh, many Greeks uh, listening. Thank you so much. Uh, and if you really like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also here, uh, if you'd like to start Japanese lesson, for speaking, please subscribe to my newsletter. It's a free. You can get the free ebook. So the link is in the comment, top comment. Okay. So thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita. So I think I will stop share the screen. If you have any question, I can still answer. But yeah, if you have, 
I can I can answer. Okay. So I will stop screen share. Okay. So now you can see me better. Okay. So the last comment. If I marry a foreigner, she would be a Japanese girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, if you have a communication skill, maybe you will find a Japanese girlfriend. You really don't know. But definitely, this is what I can say you. You need a communication skill. Otherwise, you won't find any person, anyone for sure. But if you have the communication skill, of course, you have the possibility to have a Japanese girlfriend or maybe Japanese cooperator or maybe best friends to talk about something, the best things about you, about hobby, anything. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. So see you soon.